Welcome to Electro Online. Here's our next example of how to solve an equation. Again, notice that this is a quadratic equation, which means we want to move all the terms over to one side and set it equal to zero, which means we're going to move the 5 to the other side of the equation and write it as follows. 2x squared minus x minus 5 equals zero. Remember that when you cross the equal sign, the sign changes. Now that doesn't look like something we can factor which means we're going to have to use the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula can be used when you realize that any quadratic equation like this can be written in the general form as ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, which means that if we apply this to our equation here, that a in this case is equal to two, b is equal to a negative one, and c is equal to a negative five. And we know that if we have a quadratic equation like this, we can solve that by saying that x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, all divided by 2a. And all we have to do now is plug in the proper values for a, b, and c to get the values for x that will satisfy this original equation. So let's do that. Let's plug in the values and see what we get x therefore is equal to minus b, well since b is already equal to negative 1, the negative of a negative 1 is a positive 1, plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared, minus 4 times a, a is 2, and c is a negative 5. And the whole thing then divided by 2 times a, and a was equal to 2. Now we simply have to simplify that to get the values for x that will satisfy the equation. x is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared is simply 1. Minus times a minus gives us a plus. 4 times 2 is 8 times 5 is 40. So plus 40 divided by 4. Combining these two, we end up with x is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 41 divided by 4. And since we cannot simplify the square root of 41, we can say that this here is our solution. What we're saying then is that x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 41 divided by 4. That's one of the possible solutions. Or x is equal to 1 minus the square root of 41 divided by 4. So these are the two possible solutions to our original equation. We can either write it like this, or we can leave it like this. This means the exact same thing as what we have written over there. So either we write it like this, or we write it like that, and that represents the solution to our original quadratic equation. And that's how it's done.